Omar is once again making headlines after President Donald Trump blasted her anti-Semitism to the GOP Jewish coalition. Special thanks to Rep. Omar of Minnesota, the president said. Oh, I almost forgot. She doesn't like Israel, I'm so sorry. Well, that caused Omar to cite Islamic texts toward the president, and it made Americans angry. You don't want to miss this. The mainstream media is outraged that President Trump alluded to Rep. Omar's blatant anti Semitism on Saturday. Last month, she was criticized for hurling the ugly stereotype that Jews have an allegiance to a foreign country. And earlier this year, she tweeted that U.S. support for Israel was all about the Benjamins, baby, money in the form of $100 bills, and that APAC was paying policymakers to support the Jewish state. These aren't the only anti-Semitic remarks she has made. The Minnesota Congresswoman's anti-Semitism goes back years. Last year, before she was elected to the House of Representatives, before she emerged from a crowded Democratic field in Minnesota's liberal 5th congressional district, leaders of Minneapolis's Jewish community fashioned what could be described as an anti-Semitic intervention of Omar, a rising star of the left whose remarks had made many fellow Democrats in the Jewish community uncomfortable, reports Twin Cities. Com.so, while she was a state representative, Omar had already made a name for herself as a raging anti-Semite, so perverse was she that the local Jewish community stepped in and tried to educate her. But, Omar's hatred of all things Jewish isn't of lack of education, it's indoctrination. The 37-year-old is a far-left Islamic extremist. However, it's President Trump making her anti-Semitism a light-hearted joke that is causing Omar to play the victim card. Speaking before the Republican Jewish Coalition's annual convention in Las Vegas on Saturday, Trump mockingly thanks Rep. Omar in front of the Jewish crowd.